What's going on fish keepers? George from South Florida African Cichlids here and today I'm going to be showing you how to strip or remove fry from your African Cichlid females. Stay tuned. All right, so there's a couple different ways to strip your African cichlid females. We've been doing this for over a year now, and I'm going to show you which way works the best. Now, obviously, the bigger the female, the easier it is to do it. These females are probably two and a half inches. They're very small. This is our Sinotilapia Kobe breeding group. As you can see, there are some yellow labs, but those are just there as dither fish to get them to come out more. These fish are very finicky and to get them out of here we actually have to pretty much get them to go inside a rock and then we just pull the rock out i think it's the easiest way so here you see the female that we pulled out so the first thing you're gonna want is you're gonna want a place to put them in for the time that you're gonna be stripping them or removing the fry from their mouth so we have this uh, glass bowl that we use exclusively for this and we have our egg tumbler there as well uh, with most of these females, uh, you want you want to strip them as soon as possible because what ends up happening is that when those fry are growing, uh, they end up eating some of them or they'll release them because they can't carry them in their mouths or they're just getting hungry. So the sooner the better. Um, I think if you could catch them the day that they spawn, maybe wait until the next day and you should have a lot more fry. I think out of this batch we had uh, nine, 9 or 10. So as you can see, uh, my girlfriend's obviously doing this. Uh, she has uh, better nails than I do. We don't use paper clips or anything. She just uses her nail and gently opens the fish's mouth. As you can see there, as soon as she opens the mouth, the eggs start tumbling out. Um, these are really small eggs and not very developed so for these you would need a tumbler if you're looking at stripping for free swimming fry you're gonna want to wait around 17 days after you see them holding uh, sometimes it's sooner than that but anywhere from two to three weeks but in our experience they don't usually wait that long and by then they'll just have one or two left or they'll eat most of the eggs so as far as uh, for breeding, if you're really wanting to do breeding, uh, this is definitely what you're going to want to do. And our, again, these females are pretty small, so that's why you don't get much eggs out of them. So you can see we take her out of the water for a second. She's just looking into the mouth to see if we missed any. Uh, always handle these fish with care. Although you see she is grabbing them, she's not putting any pressure on the fish and you want to make sure that towards the end too just uh, put her back in the tank because if you let her go back in this water uh, she could just uh, get those uh, eggs back in her mouth and then you have to do the process all over and yeah you don't want to you don't want to cause her any extra stress as you can see here they're mostly all egg yolk egg sac uh, it's gonna take these uh, fry probably about a week or two to get rid of all that egg yolk and once they're free swimming by themselves then we can move them on to a different tank so the first part you know actually stripping the fry and catching the female is probably the the hardest part this part right here can actually be pretty tough too but we I really recommend that you get a turkey baster it makes this process a lot simpler this was uh, my girlfriend's first time using it but as you can see uh, you just have to let go and the eggs all get sucked up which is what you want and then you just put them back in so another thing to to note is that you know how, how do you tell when your African cichlid females are holding so pretty much they won't eat and you will notice a, a big bulge on on the bottom side of her mouth usually like the day that that she breeds her mouth will just be really big and really full and I'll make another video on that in the future but um, yeah you can see here what we're doing and I just wanted to mention tonight Wednesday night we're gonna be having a Thanksgiving Eve live stream we're gonna be talking about what we're doing for Thanksgiving you know if you have any questions fish related uh, you know stay tuned uh, go watch that 
we're also going to be talking about great Black Friday deals that you guys can take advantage of and some of the Black Friday deals we've gotten in the past. So there you can see all the eggs are now in the tumbler. This tumbler is the Tinkski. I did a review on it a while back. So I'll leave a link to that in the description and at the end of the video as well. And here you can see the fry in their new home. So they're, again, they're going to be here for approximately one to two weeks until they eat off most of their uh, oat yolk sac. You can see the, the cobu in the back. That's the male. That's the breeder. So the boys, when they get around three inches, two and a half to three inches, they will start looking like him. Uh, I actually went ahead and lowered the tumble on these guys a little bit later. But just make sure they're not spinning around like crazy, you know. You don't need them to tumble that much just for them to move every once in a while. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys found this useful and maybe you were doing it a different way and this is a little bit easier for you. Or if you do have a better way, please feel free to share. And again, I appreciate you guys for watching. If this video was helpful at all, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.